All right, we're live. Hey. We're live. We're Trisha Robinson, this set designer. We're gonna hear some more stories from getting that set <laughs> into uh, Manhattan like that. So take us take us back to the beginning because this is a crazy story. <laughs> it was it was a wild ride and it was great and uh, I mean first of all I'm so happy to be a part of it and it was so much fun. But, um, so you, you contacted me, what was it, like, early, early 2019. Uh, your briefing was, you wanted a living room set, yeah? Right, right. Yeah. I think it was just, like, a simple, you're, like, living room, whatever. But, uh, you know, it was like, dude, we gotta do, we gotta do the basement that you guys shoot. Are you kidding me? Come on, yeah. Um... It's just so iconic, and I didn't knew like everybody would would love it. You can see the striped couch, you can see like the fireplace and stuff. So, um, I mean, you were like immediately like, "Oh hell yeah!" <laughs> like you get the best. I, I love your feedback, by the way. Like it's just like yes, yes, love it. So uh, yeah, I think um, you know you gave me like a week to do the designs, um, which was great. Uh, I think I did what like. 10 versions and you were like first one that's it right right <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like nope nope first one which that's... it was really fun <laughs> it was really cool going through all your videos you know because like not being not being able to physically be in a place it's like i'm putting together this puzzle from like these little tiny clips behind your guys's heads like trying to figure out what this place looks like and then making it a set. So uh, <laughs> it was a lot of fun doing that, though. And, uh, you know, like trying to get the um, the right designs for the tapestries and all like the visual cues that would like make people know it was the basement. So, uh, yeah, you just approved the first design. And then you reached out to Tyler. Huge shout out to Tyler. <laughs> what, a, what a great guy. Oh, and yeah. He just... He immediately was on board. He was just like so stoked for us to come get all his furniture. Like, like Kate, can we take your furniture for a week? Like everything in your basement. <laughs> right, right. What a great guy. Um, yeah, he was okay with it. And then your sister contacted a person in New York to build the set for us for really cheap, which was really nice. She's um, she's a corporate warrior. She's she knows what she's doing. Yeah. Yeah, your sister was great. Like, you got such a great group of people that are supporting you guys and making it happen. Um, yeah, so we got the we got the design. Uh, we went, <laughs> flew into Ann Arbor, which uh, it was a lot of fun, man. It's it's just a, a passion project, you know. We do we have it's just me and my husband loading up this, this truck with all this furniture. <laughs> Unbelievable! Unbelievable! <laughs> It was a lot of fun, you know, you, like, I don't... You were, yeah. you had shipped a fireplace that you had built. Yeah, from yeah. From L.A. So, to Ann Arbor. Yeah, so, um, this, this fireplace, they have this cool stuff, and it's only available in L.A. for building, you know, sets out of fake materials, where it's, um, this fake brick that you paint to look like bricks, mm. so it's a lot lighter, so, uh... I was like, oh, we should we should build a fireplace out here because we have that material. So we shipped it, and uh, <laughs> you were there for the whole debacle. The uh, <laughs> I wasn't not a there. Tower I wasn't there. <laughs> you were there. I I was contacting you in a in a frantic. Uh, where is this fireplace? So she had um, shipped a shipped a massive fireplace, <laughs> and yeah. To a person's house, that person was off the grid <laughs> at a festival, and we didn't yes. know where this fireplace was. <laughs> a huge fireplace. That said, it was delivered. It wasn't <laughs> anywhere. You're like, you're like, check out Tyler's house. I'm looking around. I'm like, it's it's huge. Like, I should be able to see it. It's not <laughs> under a doormat or anything like that. I'm just like, oh god. We had a backup though. We did have a backup in New York. I, I found a rental. Oh really? It wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't big enough though. It would have. It would have looked puny on stage. So I'm really glad 
we we ended up you know finding it from FedEx. We went out to the FedEx. We drove like we probably drove a hundred miles to the FedEx distro oh. center. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we we show up and they're like, oh, oh yeah, I think it's a, you know these company like they don't know what's going on. Like there's no communication. We have to like we go back in the warehouse. We're like, oh god, yes, there it is. You know, you have this like moment of like, oh, finally. <laughs> Oh god! But I'm so glad we found it. I'm so glad we found it because it looks so good. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And once we were in Tyler's house, I loved like seeing the actual one. I mean, okay, okay. <laughs> we did pretty good. We did oh pretty yeah. Good. yeah, yeah, uncanny. Yeah, and uh, let's so then see. you stuck everything in a U-Haul. Uh, uh, actually, a uh, not a U-Haul, the green one. Rider. No, 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 no. It was, uh, damn. I really want to give them a shout out because they have way better trucks. Oh, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> that would be a great shout out right now. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's not Enterprise. If... Damn it. It might come to me <laughs> later. But they have, they have the Isuzu trucks, which are essential. If you're going to be driving a truck through oh. Manhattan, are those Japanese? You want, a, you want a nice Japanese Isuzu that goes straight down from the window and you get that nice. <laughs> You know, if you're gonna hit a pedestrian. <laughs> Wait, man. Wow. Well, These are but, this but is was, industry uh, secret Azuzu. All, all the secrets. You got to go for the Azuzu. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. It was a. Uh, I don't know if I let you in on the the massive amount of stress that I felt during this whole process. Is that <laughs> is that your superpower as well that you you. <laughs> it, Sure, it might help. It helps you, you know, assess every situation and everything that could possibly go wrong. Right, right. <laughs> Which creates a lot of anxiety, but then also, you know, it's it does help you from, uh, so from other, things not going wrong. Other people but, might uh, not be feeling that, and they won't they won't deliver. And you know, I don't know. Yeah, is that is that a trait of set designers? <laughs> oh, a hundred percent. Okay, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, we definitely, you know, like film people are, I think, high anxiety people <laughs> in general. <laughs> and that's why we're, we're pretty good at our jobs. <laughs> you know, we're just, we're just like, so on, like on top of it, every situation that could possibly go wrong. You sweating can't lose the sm one. Sweating the small stuff, as they say. Exactly. Yeah, that's what it takes. So, yeah. So the things I went through were, uh, on our way, you know, well, at first I got a lock that would uh, sound an alarm if anybody tried to touch it <laughs> wow. without knowing the right code. Uh, that's my number one thing. The second thing, uh, every place I stayed at along the way, I got a room where I could see the truck from the room, <laughs> 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 which would help me uh, at midnight. I was just, you know, if we, if we lost anything, it was like, we're not going to, like, those are the authentic pieces. It's like, priceless right like you, right. Can't, you can't lose those things uh so yeah i could see the truck all the time um and then we got a um 24-hour security lot in new york Ooh. but the kicker we put uh my husband's phone in the back of the truck so if anything did happen to the truck i had an alert on if the truck moved at all <laughs> <laughs> it would it would sound an alert on my phone. Those poor so, criminals, though, if they stole that, <laughs> it's a bunch of living room furniture from Michigan. I know, I know, right? But uh, but you never know, you never know. But uh, yeah, we got it all there. It was, it was totally great. Um, on the day, man, everybody was just so helpful. All the all the union local one New York guys just local one. Wow. Local one, yeah. The it first was just one? Crazy. The first one. Um, Interesting. I'm local 800, so it's kind of <laughs> mind-blowing. Like, I'm that low on the, on the totem pole. <laughs> no, they were, all, they were all real nice, but they were very... Um, it, it was, I think, Madison Square Garden was very just, like, blown away by, like, the vibe everybody brought. They're just like, who is this band? What is this set that you guys are doing? Like, are you the, the, the local one guys? Like, oh, you guys, what are you guys moving in? Are you guys setting up a, a goddamn living room? Like, what's you guys at a thrift store in here? Like, what's going on? Like, they're just they're not used to that kind of thing, right, you know? Right. 
It was so funny. Like, but uh, I think all of Madison Square Garden was really impressed. Just like how we actually like made it happen and brought it all in and, and they were like wow like you know it was just like such a chill vibe like everybody was just so on board and so on point and so cool and i think they were all really impressed by the end of, by the end of the day you know they started off a little like what's going on <laughs> like right, who right. are these people like who, where's the label <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they were probably yeah i don't know 14 of little... us in total you know it's got to be the smallest oh thing yeah. that's ever set foot in it's just got to be <laughs> yeah yeah and i think i think at the end of it you know they really like came around like when we were done with the set like all all the guys were like oh this is kind of cool like damn like we didn't think it was gonna look that cool but this guy cool like they were all like they, they were great they're trying they're not set dressers like like i'm used to having, having oh really that, like, yeah, like, we had a few little things, like, I had the, your guys' portraits, with shout out to all those artists right. that made the amazing artwork, we had the portraits, and I had a very specific grid, and they, it took them, like, three tries to, to hang them <laughs> right, and it still wasn't right, but I was, alright, it's fine, thank you, we're moving on. <laughs> And uh, you know, just little things. They they don't have the they don't have the eye that I'm used to having. But they right. really were in right. sports about it. They they did great. Yeah. Uh, um. And we got it all set up, and then they they lit the whole thing. They did a great job with lighting, and it was just great. You guys just looked so good up there, and uh, I think it worked out really well. And uh, yeah, we had totally. a great time. Well, yeah. yeah. Thank you. I mean, this was this. The story before some of this was, you gave me your website at a Corey Wong show, <laughs> and I yeah. saw you had done Crank Anchors. Is that right? Oh yeah, yeah, Crank Anchors, the uh, award-winning. Uh, that's serious. <laughs> that's no joke. The set design. That's entirely set design, right? Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for noticing. We do um, 280 sets a um, dang a, a season. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, no, yeah. so it's a lot yeah <laughs> so then from that i had i had the email and then yeah. probably two years after that or a year maybe yeah. <laughs> pitch this yeah. concept and then it freaking happened <laughs> it's insane it when was I, yeah, yeah it was the i came up to you at the cory walk show in 2017 because i remember wow. Because it was the Dodgers World Series. Wow. <laughs> and it was a great night. We were on cloud nine. They had just won. They won one of the games against the Astros. <laughs> against all odds because of the cheating <laughs> and everything. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, they had just won. I was feeling good. Yeah, yeah. But thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you for remembering me after, uh, yeah, after, after all that. <laughs> Insanity. Insanity. Yeah, no, so stoked to be a part of it, and uh, it was just, yeah, it, it was awesome. Uh, I do have a few things. Did you, like, like we're live, we're right? live, we're, yeah. Yeah, there were a few little, like, details, I don't know if people noticed. Oh, okay, great, great, great. Yeah, because there were a lot of little Easter eggs in the set. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, so, um, let me see. Oh, the, the really cool one that, like, I was really stoked that we got was Theo's dad's album. That Ooh. Was, yeah, yeah, that one was really tight. Like, when we went to his house in Ann Arbor, or uh, the, the basement in Ann Arbor, Theo was there. And uh, he was like, oh, there's this one thing that I really wanted you to include. And I was like, oh, yeah, I was always going to put it up. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh it's his, yeah, it was his dad's album that's in like behind your head on top of the fireplace, on top of the mantle. Right, uh, right. The marimba yeah, band, yeah. marimba Baja marimba band, is that it? Yep, yep, yeah. that's it. Yeah. So I'm really glad we got that in there. I think he was really stoked that we got that in there. I think that uh, was an offshoot of Herb Alpert's Tijuana Brass, like the competing band, but also put out by yeah. Herb Alpert. And Theo's dad was the trumpeter, so okay, that very sounds legit. Cool. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I listen to this, some of their stuff. It's really great. Yeah, <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> it's on Spotify. Check it out. Um, what else do we had? Oh, we had okay. So we're in Michigan. We got a UM sweatshirt. 
up there it's hanging on um there's a uh, a coat rack that we got the um sweatshirt on um we got uh binoculars for woody a really nice pair of binoculars um which he used at one point during the show which was really nice yes yes <laughs> yeah. but he brought his own too like <laughs> <laughs> so i was all stoked to show him the binoculars he's like oh those are great well, I have mine, but yeah, these are great. <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> Which, like, I went to so many thrift stores in Ann Arbor, like, looking for binoculars. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> but he had his own. Anyway, so. But uh, what, we, got a, we got a basketball in there uh, for, uh, you know, Joey's stuff, Joey, uh, game winner. Right. Uh, we got DiMaggio jersey, of course. Of course. Uh, and then we had a baseball mitt and a baseball. I think, uh, I think, um, uh, Antoine was playing around with that at one point. Uh, I really appreciated all the interaction with the stuff. Um, we got, oh, I, I'm sure you didn't notice, but I had a book about beans. Oh, really? <laughs> I did. Yeah. <laughs> I found a book about beans at a thrift store in Ann Arbor. So nobody would ever know, but now they do. It's up there. It's nice. <laughs> um, we had a computer with Pro Tools on there. That was a lot of fun. Uh, we had a little Santa doll for Christmas in L.A. Um, and then the really cool thing that I, I was pretty proud of, the tapestries. Yeah. We had, yeah, we had the Wolf birds mm. worked into the tap. Those little... Um, from like uh, Birds of a Feather. Yes, Jair, Jair Sotelo did that animation, and they well, keep, yeah. they keep popping up now. They keep popping up. Yeah, they're great. They're pretty iconic. Yeah. yeah. So we got those in there, and then we also got um, some zodiac symbols. I had the designer <laughs> do some zodiac symbols. <laughs> I didn't notice. <laughs> yeah, it's it's all these very, very small little Easter eggs that like. People, yeah, I wouldn't expect anybody to see. But, uh, you know, I tried to get any little Wolf trivia in there that I possibly could. And I think I think we hit them all. I, I think I hit any little thing that you guys could possibly. Wow. <laughs> not, that, not that anyone would notice, but it was so much fun putting it all together. And, like, just thinking of all the fun stuff that we could do. And I had such a great time. So. Oh, great. <laughs> Great. I hope you guys liked it. I hope I hope it worked out for you guys. Just Are you kidding? <laughs> Have you ever seen any of our other shows? It's like <laughs> a bit of an upgrade. Yeah, no, it's phenomenal. No, no, it's all about you guys, and I'm glad. I felt like it was a good background. You know, nothing to like overpower or anything. You know, we're not a. Uh, like I, I, I was really stoked. Like you guys, you know, like even without like the the. LED walls, like, of you guys, like, a camera focused on you guys and everything, like, I felt like it was the perfect vibe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. No, we, so great. We, um, I, I see where, uh, where stuff's going now with the, you know, yeah. just, I don't know if you watch Metallica's, uh, touring show. It's like, <gasps> I, the light wall, the light wall is enormous. Yeah. Yeah. I think Kiss is coming to town. I'm just, you know, I got, <gasps> since your thing, I got into it, and I was like, whoa, we really, uh, we kept it pretty Hamish for this one, you know, like the whole vibe, but it, that was the whole point, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, someone called me out that a band had done this in the 70s, like, put their leg, <laughs> which I was on a Really? Road. Yeah, someone had built, or had just put lamps on stage, so... Oh, well, there's a, yeah, um, and then, um, what's his name, Eddie Vedder's band, uh, they did that too. Okay, uh, okay. What, what, what's Eddie Vedder's band? Uh, uh, oh, the freaking Pearl Jam, right? <laughs> Pearl Jam, yeah, yeah. Okay. Pearl Jam, Pearl Jam used to do that too. They used to put uh, lamps on stage. Okay, okay, so yeah. we're, we're, yeah, it's... <laughs> It's a thing. It's a thing. Shout out to Luce, my sister, uh, for the light yes. box upgrade. Yes, Made like the, the, <laughs> the light box. Yeah, but yeah, people should. Maybe I'll somehow post the uh, original design you did because it's I, it's exactly what oh. ended up happening. So yeah, yeah, just, it was it was pretty darn close. 
pretty darn close. Yeah. yeah. So big shout out right now to everyone coming in the pledges. Down with hey. the soapness. There's a lot of. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're on the line with Trisha Robertson, the set designer, production designer, transporter <laughs> of the set of the MSG set. Definitely the MVP of the night, without a doubt. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. It was a pleasure. It was an honor and a privilege, <laughs> and I think it worked out great. Uh, just so stoked for you guys. Like, what a night, man. Ah, like, we're reliving that, it right now on the live stream. Um, that night, man, everybody was just so, it was the best feeling. Like, just the most positive vibe, I think. That the world has ever experienced. <laughs> <laughs> I had a great time. I had a great time. It was so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are great. And you curate such a great group of people. Just everyone involved. Like everyone backstage, like just good vibes all around. You know, you could just tell. You're like, great group. It was oh, yeah. so much. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, big shout out right now to Trisha Robertson, the set designer of Live from Madison Square Garden, Wolf Peck Show. We're going to return. Back to the stream. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Of course. <laughs> of course. This is the best way to start out 2020. Yeah. That's right. Well, this is actually the 2019 pledge drive, so <laughs> we're just going to kind of keep it there in that zone. It's All right. a great way to end 2019, then. Yes. Thank How about you. That? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Trisha. Thank you, man. It was so great. Best All night. All right. I had a great time. All right. <laughs> All right. Peace, have a good one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. That was Trisha Robertson. Pledge now. Wolfpack dot com. That whole set was Trisha's brainchild and execute from from from. Thought bubble to execution. All right, let's tune back into the show.